7. Lake Argyle Crocodile A 38-year-old woman was attacked by a large crocodile in Western Australia in May 2022, in an area of water that's typically thought to be safe for swimmers. The victim was swimming in Butler Cove's Lake Argyle when she felt something bite her leg. According to reports from ABC Australia, the aggressor then revealed himself to be a massive crocodile, measuring up to 8 feet, 2.4 meters in length. The woman, who wasn't named in the story, was then rushed to the nearest hospital to be treated for her injuries. Luckily for her, she was reported to be in stable condition following the attack. The Department of Biodiversity and Conservation released a statement afterward, stating that the staff saw a large freshwater croc matching the size of the creature that attacked the woman, and that it tried to interact with their vessel as they patrolled the waters of Butler Cove. The behavior of the crocodile was consistent with what the department staff identified as a problem animal. So, in order to ensure public safety, the animal was captured and had to be put down. Attacks don't occur too often in Lake Argyle, but the last one to take place happened back in 2009. An unnamed 52-year-old man was swimming near an area called Crocodile Bay, known for its large population of nesting reptiles, in water that was about 26 feet, 8 meters deep, when, unsurprisingly, he was attacked by crocodiles. He sustained injuries to his arm, chest, and shoulder. But thankfully, he recovered and lived to tell his story. 6. Beware of Beavers While swimming in a pond in Greenfield, Massachusetts in 2021, a man was attacked by an unlikely creature, a beaver. 73-year-old Mark Prez Piracini almost drowned during the attack and required several stitches after repeatedly fighting off the presumably rabid semi-aquatic rodent as he was heading back to shore. The attack occurred on September 6th, and it left Mark with lacerations from head to toe, a fractured finger on his right hand, chunks of flesh torn from his legs and arms, and a lacerated tendon on his left index finger. Mark, who also suffered a significant amount of blood loss, reportedly told Greenfield reporter Dominic Poli, I still can't feel my thumb. Benjamin Woodard, a nurse practitioner at a Bay State Franklin Medical Center, said he'd never seen animal bites from a beaver before. The man's wounds had to be thoroughly cleaned, and while some of them were left open to help prevent infection, most of them were stitched up. Mark also had to receive five rounds of rabies shots just in case the creature had the deadly virus. The victim explained to Dominic Poli that he often takes morning bike rides to a secluded area in the woods so he can bask in nature's beauty. He said he likes to swim to a grassy island situated about 150 feet, 46 meters from the shore, so he can listen to the wind blow. Apparently, this spot has been dear to his heart for at least 50 years, so he refused to give up the exact location. But on that fateful day, he watched the ducks and meditated before deciding to swim back over to where he'd parked his bike. As he began to swim across the river, the beaver started nibbling on his leg, but it didn't reveal itself right away. At first, he thought he was being attacked by some weird mutant lake trout, but then the creature surfaced near his head and grabbed onto it. Mark told Dominic that the beaver tried to bite his head, and in response, he punched the aquatic rodent several times. According to Mark, the 34 to 40 pound, 16 to 18 kilogram beaver dove underwater repeatedly and would resurface about 15 feet, 4.6 meters away from him to start his attack all over again. He estimated that the onslaught lasted roughly five minutes before he managed to make it back to his bike. Mark said, I just had to take the licking and get to shore, because he knew he'd drown if he focused on fighting back. He believed that if he had to swim even 30 more feet, 9 meters, he would have drowned for sure. After making it back to his bike, he pedaled to his car and then drove himself to the emergency room, as he was covered in bites and other injuries, and was also bleeding profusely. Luckily, he survived to tell the bizarre tale of when he was attacked by a vicious beaver.
the communications coordinator for the Division of Fisheries and Wildlife in Massachusetts, Emily Stolarski, told Dominic that beaver attacks are rare. However, nurse practitioner Benjamin Woodard said that people should stay away from beaver dens, further adding that the creatures typically warn humans by slapping their tails. So the next time you see a beaver while you're out in nature, don't stop and take pictures. Just get the heck out of there and hope the little guy doesn't chase after you. 5. Bobcat Attack In 2021, a couple from North Carolina was savagely attacked by a rabid bobcat. And the whole thing was captured by their home security camera. The video of the bizarre incident went viral online after the clip was shared with several local news stations. What must have started out as a normal day for the couple turned into a literal nightmare as they were preyed upon by the predatory cat as they casually visited with their neighbors from the driveway of their home. One of the victims, Christy Wade, told the New York Times, I won't soon forget the look in that cat's eyes. It had its sights set on me, and that's when I ran. At the beginning of the video, Christy's husband, Happy Wade, is shown holding a tray of brownies as he greets a jogger. Christy can be seen as well, carrying the couple's cat, Faith, in a carrier. Then, after Happy says something about needing to wash his car, a loud growl can be heard. Immediately afterward, the bobcat pounces on Christy, who's screaming as it sinks its teeth into her. The animal climbs up the woman's back and over her shoulder while still attacking. But it's interrupted by Happy when he comes to his wife's aid. Happy tears the feline off Christy and holds it above his head while he shouts, Oh my god, oh my god, it's a bobcat! He then throws the animal across the yard and warns all his neighbors outside to stay back. The clip ends with Happy chasing the beast, threatening to shoot it for what it's done. Christy credited her husband with saving her life, and she told the New York Times that she didn't know where she'd be if it wasn't for him. In the end, the couple only suffered some minor bites and scratches, but they were treated with antibiotics and a rabies vaccine. The animal that attacked them was later shot and killed for its vicious behavior, likely putting many worried residents in the area at ease. 4. Shark Punch In early 2022, 42-year-old Heather West fought off a shark in Florida by punching it in the face until it let her go. The six foot, two meters lemon shark had latched itself onto the woman's ankle and refused to release her. Heather, who's originally from Texas, told the Daily Mail that the creature kept tugging and tugging on her. At the time of the incident, she was wearing flippers, so her kicks weren't doing much to deter the animal. But once she noticed this, she decided to lean forward and punch it instead. She claimed to have punched the shark over and over as hard as she could for a period of about 30 seconds, until it finally opened its jaws. Heather said that after her ankle was freed, she was in complete shock for at least two minutes. She couldn't move, let alone swim, but luckily her friend ran back into the water to help her out. The attack took place in the waters surrounding the dry Tortugas Islands, which are situated off the coast of Florida. Before Heather's encounter with one of these sharks, there had been only 10 documented unprovoked attacks by lemon sharks, according to the University of Florida's International Shark Attack File. All of them occurred in either Florida or the Caribbean, and none of the attacks were fatal. Heather was fortunate enough to be near a couple of park rangers who were setting up rat traps in the area. They helped apply tourniquets to her leg, and they were able to get her back to the mainland for treatment. Despite her scary encounter with the creatures, Heather still claims that she loves sharks. She said she doesn't want her experience to discourage people from getting into the water, and she told The Guardian that she'll be right back in as soon as she heals up. 3. Squirrel Terrorizes Town Squirrels may seem like cute, furry woodland creatures, but sometimes they go completely nuts. This was exactly the case in late 2021, when several people living in Buckley, Wales, had their Christmas ruined by one of these tiny animals. A total of 18 people were attacked by the gray squirrel in a matter of two days. A member of the Buckley residents' Facebook group named Nicola Crowther detailed the incident in a post on December 26th. She warned others about the so-called vicious squirrel that attacks and said that the animal bit her and attacked one of her friends as well as multiple other people. 
Along with her post, she included a blurry picture of the alleged culprit sitting on a fence post. Sherry Davidson, another bite recipient, spoke with the SWNS and said that as she was taking out her recycling, the psycho critter jumped at her from behind and bit her on the hand. She reported that the squirrel's teeth are like pins. The creature was subsequently dubbed Stripe after the evil character from the movie Gremlins. Apparently, nowhere was safe from the animal, and it would jump at people in their gardens and would even chase them down the road if given the chance. Multiple victims received tetanus shots after getting attacked, and out of the 21 residents who encountered the squirrel, 18 of them were injured. In order to take care of the problem, Buckley native Corin Reynolds set up a trap for the rodent in her garden. After it was lured into a cage by his favorite snack, peanuts, the 65-year-old handed Stripe over to the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or the RSPCA, who had to euthanize the animal because it's illegal in the UK to release them into the wild. Two, hippo rippo my arm off. In early 2022, 39-year-old Paul Templer had a near-fatal encounter with a hippo as he led a safari tour down the Zambazi River in Zimbabwe. Paul spoke with Seven News and described how he was swallowed by the creature, who apparently threw him around like a rag doll. For the wildlife expert to say it was a bad day at the office, for him, is a major understatement, as he was horribly injured during the encounter. He was also left with several major bite wounds from the killer beast, who supposedly stank of rotten eggs. As he was leading his safari tour of six people down the river, they hit a stretch of water near Victoria Falls. Trouble soon became apparent when the hippo suddenly knocked one of Paul's friends out of his canoe. In response, Paul started paddling toward his fallen pal to help, a move that gained the attention of the animal. Like a submarine torpedo, the hippo chased after Paul before he could really get a grip on what was happening. When he turned around to defend himself against the beast, everything went black, and he realized he was stuck in the beast's throat. Running on nothing but pure adrenaline, Paul then managed to grab hold of the hippo's tusks and miraculously pulled himself out of danger. The animal eventually spat Paul out, but he was quickly swallowed again. He was then thrashed around in the water and almost drowned in the process before getting spat out a second time. After this, Paul desperately tried to swim in the direction of his friends, but he was subsequently dragged to the bottom of the river by the monster hippo. He thought this was the end and he described seeing the sunlight on the surface from the river's floor and his blood mingling with the water around him. Luckily, Paul's friend managed to rescue him, likely saving his life. Once everyone was out of danger, it took an additional eight hours to reach a hospital. Paul's arm was extremely mangled by the hippo's attack, and it was eventually amputated. But despite the horrifying ordeal, Paul kept a positive mindset and used his experience to inspire others as a motivational speaker in the US. And now for number one. But if you wanna hear more bizarre and crazy stories, Stay tuned after the video for some more content. 1. Baby Snatching Monkeys In July 2022, monkeys in Uttar Pradesh, India, snatched a newborn baby from his father and threw him off a three-story house. As reported by local news outlets, the incident took place in Bareilly's Dunka area. According to the child's father, he was walking on the roof of the home and was carrying the infant in his arms when suddenly a group of monkeys appeared and attacked him. The father said he cried out for help, but before other members of his family could come to his aid, the primates snatched the baby boy from him. Tragically, the monkeys then dropped the four-month-old off the roof, resulting in his death. The deceased infant had just one sibling that was seven years older than him. To make things even worse, the family was preparing for his name day ceremony just before the accident took place. Afterward, the incident was reported to the authorities and a team from India's forest department was sent to the family's home to conduct a probe. Apparently, monkeys snatch babies more often than most people realize. Another baby boy was taken from his mother by a gang of monkeys in June 2022 while she was breastfeeding him. 
The infant was just a month old in this case, and was also tragically killed by the cold-hearted primates. And in another instance that took place on January 10th of that same year, a two-month-old child was grabbed by a group of monkeys from the terrace of his house. The infant was then flung into a water tank in Uttar Pradesh, where, sadly, he drowned. 8. Disease Expert's Deadly Excursion In 2006, renowned infectious disease expert Dr. Richard Root accepted an invitation to spend two months treating HIV patients in Botswana as part of an outreach program. He reportedly found the work to be very rewarding, but he also made some time for fun. Along with him on the trip was his wife of two years, Rita O'Boyle. After being widowed in 2001, Root took considerable time off from his career to grieve. Between finding a new life partner and participating in the HIV initiative, he had a new lease on life and a renewed sense of purpose that he'd been longing for. But little did he know, his new chapter would soon be disrupted by an unforeseen tragedy. Three weeks into the trip, Root and O'Boyle went on a wildlife tour along the Limpopo River to view what the area had to offer. They each traveled in their own canoe, and Root was paddling ahead of his wife when their tour guide suddenly yelled, Croc! By then, it was too late for Root to avoid the 15-foot, 5 meters reptile's path. His canoe began to shake just moments before the crocodile pulled him into the water and vanished beneath the surface. Sadly, the 68-year-old's lifeless body was found near the attack site four days later. A Botswana police spokesperson told the South African news outlet Independent Online that there were no previous recorded crocodile attacks in the area. 7. Bear Beheads Missing Fishermen 54-year-old Toshihiro Nishikawa vanished in May 2023 during a solo fishing trip at Lake Shumarinai on the Japanese island of Hokkaido. A few hours after dropping him off at his fishing spot, a boat operator spotted a bear with waders in its mouth. After failing to make contact with Nishikawa, he alerted authorities, who launched a search for the bear. The search party found and killed the creature, but made a troubling discovery in the process. A severed human head. While the identity of the head has not been confirmed, Nishikawa remains missing and the rest of the human remains have also not yet been found. The gruesome discovery came amid a spike in reported bear sightings on Hokkaido, Japan's northernmost island. As of mid-May 2023, authorities had received 339 reports since the beginning of the year, 40 more than the same time in 2022, which saw a record number of 2,240 bear sightings. Experts blame the increased sightings on numerous factors, including a low number of hunters in recent years, which has allowed the population to recover. Bears are also wandering into areas inhabited by humans a lot more than they used to in search of food. This is just one of many examples throughout the world of humans and wildlife increasingly encroaching upon one another's space, leading to higher attack numbers in both directions. 6. Halfway into a hippo. 28-year-old British expat Paul Templer moved to Zimbabwe during the mid-90s and underwent a rigorous training program to become a wildlife tour guide. He loved his job and was extremely happy with how his life was going, but his newfound happiness was rudely interrupted one day in 1996. A fellow guide had come down with malaria, so Templer agreed to take his sick pal's place and lead a canoe safari along the Zambeze River. While it wasn't his normal gig, he knew the area extremely well. Along the way, the party encountered around a dozen hippos. Templer decided to paddle around the giant mammals at a safe distance. He led the other canoes into a side channel, where he stopped to wait for the boats paddling behind him. Out of nowhere, a massive force shoved one of the canoes into the air sending its guide into the water while the tourists managed to stay in the boat. Templer attempted to rescue the guide, who was being washed straight toward a mother hippo and her baby. He later told CNN that as he and the guide reached for one another, the water between them erupted. The next thing Templer remembered was the confusion he felt as everything around him went pitch dark. 
From the waist down, he felt cold, moving water. From the waist up, he felt warm moisture and pressure. He realized he was in a hippo's mouth. The nightmarish attack carried on for several minutes as the large male hippo bit into Templar and spat him out repeatedly. He was rescued by one of his apprentice guides, but the guide who was thrown from the canoe was missing. Templar was seriously injured and in imminent need of medical care. Doctors predicted that he wouldn't survive, but he went on to recover after undergoing numerous surgeries and losing an arm. The missing guide's body was found three days later. 5. Polar Bear vs. Human Pair In January 2023, news headlines announced the first fatal polar bear attack on a human in Alaska in 30 years. As a brutal blizzard battered the small whaling village of Wales, just below the Arctic Circle, 24-year-old Summer Miomik attempted to carry her child from a local school to a health clinic. The distance between points A and B was no more than 150 yards, 137 meters, but the storm was blowing so hard that the visibility was almost zero. Miomik was just feet away from the school's entrance when a polar bear attacked her and her child. She couldn't have seen it coming, but it happened close enough to the building for the people inside to see the attack in progress. The principal ordered for the blinds to be shut so nobody would witness the carnage going on outdoors while several community members rushed outside and tried to scare the bear off with shovels. They briefly succeeded in stopping the attack, only for it to resume after the bear turned its aggression toward the Good Samaritans, causing them to run back inside the building. Bering Strait School District spokeswoman Susan Nedza told the Associated Press that the school's principal slammed the door in the bear's face narrowly preventing it from getting into the school and wreaking more deadly havoc. There's no police force in Wales, so it was up to civilians to get the situation under control. A resident shot and killed the bear while it continued to maul Miomik's lifeless body. Polar bears rarely attack humans, but it's not unheard of. The tragedy in Wales has sparked a renewed interest in polar bear patrols, which are implemented in many places throughout the high north to prevent fatal conflicts between bears and humans. While attacks aren't 100% avoidable, these patrols have greatly helped to reduce deaths by actively working to keep bears out of inhabited areas. 4. Belligerent Bison During a particularly deadly week in May of 2023, three senior citizens were killed in bison attacks in India's Kerala state. The first victim, a 65-year-old man named Chaco, was gored while sitting on his front porch in the Kodayam district. A short while later, a 60-year-old man named Thomas was fatally attacked while working in a grove nearby. According to locals, the same bison was responsible for both attacks, which left the deceased victims with gruesome leg injuries. The creature fled after claiming its victims and managed to avoid capture by authorities. Angered by the deaths, residents staged a protest against forest officials. In the meantime, a 60-year-old man named Garvese was killed by a bison while working on a rubber plantation in the Kolam district. The offending animal was found dead shortly afterward. Conflicts between people and wild animals in Kerala and other parts of India have become an everyday problem for many, where humans are increasingly encroaching on wilderness. At the same time, species that once avoided people at all costs have become more brazen. Knowing that they can find food in populated areas, wild boars, bison, bears, tigers, and other creatures are entering inhabited settlements more than ever before. Despite the spike in confrontations, three deadly bison attacks is an unusually high number over a seven-day period. Authorities were at a loss to explain what specifically caused the sudden spate of fatal encounters. There are no easy answers for reducing these incidents. After having their property damaged, crops ruined, and neighbors attacked, villagers are often understandably frustrated and see intruding wildlife as a pest to simply exterminate. Meanwhile, authorities are under an increasing amount of pressure from conservationists and activists to avoid resorting to killing wild animals, especially when it comes to endangered species.
There's no denying that humans are intrusive and have a tendency to force wildlife out of its habitat. Forced to share an even smaller stretch of the forest, animals have less access to food, and it's perhaps only natural that they come looking for it in villages. Some have even blamed humans exclusively for the problem, saying that we need to give nature more of its own space instead of expecting it to conveniently move out of the way for us. 3. Whomped by a wild elephant A 23-year-old research scholar named Vishal Srimal was walking outside the Salem Ali Center for Ornithology and Natural History near Coimbatore, India in May 2023 when a lone elephant mowed him down, seemingly out of nowhere. The wild giant trampled the young man, causing life-threatening injuries to his leg and chest. Shrimal was rushed to the hospital in critical condition and died the next day, despite doctors' best efforts to save his life. The tragedy came just three months after an elephant attacked and killed a 20-year-old woman named Ranjita on her way to work in Kadaba in southwestern India. 55-year-old Ramesh Rai Naila overheard Ranjita's screams and rushed to help her, but was also attacked. Naila died at the scene, while Ranjita succumbed to her injuries on the way to the hospital. Not long before that, a notorious elephant who was known for wreaking havoc across two districts in the state of Kerala trampled a 60-year-old man to death. The offending mammal had a two-year history of tormenting locals and was blamed for hundreds of crop raids and at least 13 instances of property damage. Officially codenamed Palakad Tusker 7, or PT7 for short, the elephant was captured in early 2023 after cleverly eluding authorities on multiple occasions. It took a team of 72 forest officials to catch the beast over an eight-hour period. Finally, during the early morning hours, they managed to administer a tranquilizer dart. The team moved the rogue elephant back out into the wilderness, but it crept back up on the village just hours later. They tranquilized PT-7 once again, but this time they decided not to release it, given its tendencies to find its way back to humans. After scrapping plans to move the animal to a distant location, authorities decided to keep it in captivity and train it as a kumki, which are used for trapping wild elephants. 2. Remote Rattlesnake Bite one summer morning in 2018, 58-year-old Scott Von Cannon set out for a day hike in North Carolina's Blue Ridge Mountains. About five miles, eight kilometers into the wind, a rattlesnake sunk its fangs into his calf. The venom took effect almost immediately, causing Von Cannon to sweat profusely and his vision to become blurry. He had no cell phone signal and was unable to dial 911. Rattlesnake bites aren't uncommon, and they're highly treatable. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, only around 5 out of the 7,000 to 8,000 rattlesnake bites that occur in America each year are fatal. But without treatment, the chances of dying are much higher. In a CNN interview, Von Cannon described crawling up the steep mountain for two hours as he faded in and out of consciousness and vomited every few minutes. He fired a shot from his pistol in hopes of catching someone's attention, but was unsuccessful. Luckily, Von Cannon's wife had become concerned after his failure to return home, and a rescue search was soon underway. Meanwhile, the ailing hiker accepted that he was going to die, and recorded a farewell video for his family. Help arrived right after he resigned himself to doom, giving him renewed hope for survival. It took three hours for rescuers to carry Von Cannon down the mountain, and it ultimately took 11 hours to get him to the hospital. By then, he had gone into cardiac arrest. Doctors gave him a 5% chance of surviving. After spending three days in a coma, Von Cannon miraculously pulled through. He spent several months recovering before once again hitting the trails, this time with a satellite phone, just in case. We have another great video lined up right after number one. If you need more of a daily worldless dosage, then be sure to stay tuned if you haven't seen that one yet. One, annihilated by an alligator. Most of the humans who die during encounters with alligators are mauled to death or held underwater and drowned. 
but striking one with a vehicle can easily kill a person. And while it's rare for this to happen, it's not unheard of. 59-year-old John Hopkins met his unfortunate fate in 2022 while driving home from his new job in the middle of the night. He was less than a mile, 1.6 kilometers from his home in Lithia, roughly 25 miles, 40.2 kilometers east of Tampa, when he crashed into an 11-foot, 3.4 meters gator in the middle of the road. Hopkins' vehicle veered off the road and rolled, landing upside down in a ditch. Both Hopkins and the Gator died in the accident. The slain driver's sister, Jane Pizinski, told Fox 13 that doctors said her brother died instantly, offering a small dose of comfort in the midst of an otherwise indescribably tragic situation. For local resident Kaylin Nelson, the fatal crash was an all too sobering reminder of his own experience with hitting an alligator on the road. He was riding his motorcycle in the same area in 2017 when he saw a massive gator taking up half the road. Nelson failed to avoid hitting the reptile and landed on an overpass after being thrown from his bike. He was lucky to survive but was left with lasting health problems and deals with daily pain. A reality that most people in their early 30s are decades away from experiencing. Would you rather lose your legs during a shark attack but make a full recovery otherwise, or suffer a head injury from a vicious crocodile that leaves you with permanent memory loss? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.